are. This is where we are. Wild Adventures. Hey everybody, Tom here for Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I am visiting Wild Adventures Theme Park today. This is right near Valdosta, Georgia, which is just over the Florida, Georgia line. Uh, exit 16 on Interstate 75 to be exact. Well, one of the exits you can take anyway. Uh, not an incredibly large park, but they do have some really, really good rides. Uh, several really cool roller coasters. Uh, I'm going to be checking this place out. They do have animals here also, so it is uh, a miniature version of Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, if you've seen my video of that. Uh, they do have animals throughout. There are certain areas that I'm not going to be able to visit because they use it as one of their haunted mazes for Terror in the Wild, which was their nighttime Halloween event going from Fridays and Saturdays. I was here last night for that. Fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Look for that video if you haven't already seen that. So today we're going to be touring this park, show you everything this place has to offer, all their rides, food vendors, gift shops, animals of course. I do enjoy seeing all the different animals. So as soon as we open we're going to check this place out. Well, we got Dinosaur Explorer again. We'll be checking out some dinosaurs a little bit later. We've got an Allosaurus. All right, so we're directly past the ticket center. You got guest relations. All right, Fun at Heart is the gift shop right at the front of the park. A little bit of everything inside. Another gift shop they have right up front, Adventure Emporium. This is actually where I got my hat last time I was here. All right, so the first animal we see is a Tama Andra. Hopefully I said that correctly, maybe not. Is a says a right, this is a species of anteater. It's all curled up on one of his wood beams. Snoozing. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, so showing you the map. Discovery Outpost is not open because they use that as one of the locations for one of the haunted mazes. So but everything else besides Splash Island Water Park is open. We come to our first roller coaster in the park. Now this model roller coaster is traditionally called roller skater because the actual train cars look like roller skates. However, this ride at this park has been called Ant Farm Express for some reason, and it's currently called Outpost Express. So, not really sure why, but it's a good kid size ride, not terribly fast, good starter coaster for the little ones. All right, Outpost Express, a big coaster for little adventurers. The ride has obviously changed the Outpost Express to coincide with the new expanded area. So it fits in a little bit better. And you can see the, the train cars look like roller skates. The Discovery Outpost and Alligator Alley is the all new area of the park that opened up this year. So we're going to go check out new kid rides. All right, directly past the roller coaster, we got a Coca-Cola refill and refresh station. I'm going to get a refill on my beverage. I got my drink cup last night. All right, so the official entrance Discovery Outpost is back a little further, but I got to it. I'm going to check out this newly expanded area with kid size rides. All themed around alligators. They got gator feeding. You can feed an alligator. Or hold a baby alligator also. Here, go check out Gator Bridge. Alright, we see all the alligators in the water. 
Only using his tail to swim around and steer. Got lots of alligators up on the dry land as well. What's up alligators? How you guys doing? You're probably hoping I have food. Alright, gator bridge. Boat bridge over the alligators. And this is something I did not know. Completely 360 degree vision and actually shed tears. I heard of gator tears. Got baby gator nursery. Little baby alligator. And I'm sorry the glass is kind of uh, smeared. There's a little baby alligator in here. This one's probably around, uh, I'd say maybe a year. They're very cute though, at this size anyway. All right, I'm gonna check out the Gator Bridge. So for obvious reasons, this is not uh, wheelchair accessible. Literally go over the net. Right over the alligators. You can see the alligators right below me. Ooh, this thing is very rickety. Ooh, look at all them alligators down there. Alligators! You might not want to fall in an alligator pit. I don't think that'd be very fun. You become a meal for an alligator, more than likely. <gasps> I made it! Alright. Let go down the steps. And we are clear. All right. All right so we got the Outpost General Store and Gator Food. It's a very small open air gift shop. This is a location where you can buy alligator food if you'd like to feed them. Alligator food is five dollars per bag. And this alligator can be actually close to because he's not real. If you want to fool your friends and say, hey, I got real close to an alligator, well, there you go. And you got more pumpkins. Another fun photo op opportunity. Make it look like you're in an airboat. All right, so one of the all-new rides in this area is called Crunch's Caboose. All right, so a kid-sized train. Those little kids love trains. This is perfect size for them. Our next ride is called Okafinoki Friends. Uh, different animals, rides around. Our next up we got Hoppin' Gators. We're gonna say mini drop tower. Goes up and down several times. Right next to Hoppin' Gators, we got Swamp Water Snake. A speedy, slickly ride. This is another nice kid sized roller coaster. All little girls wearing orange stinky. It's a great starter coaster for little ones giving their first experience. Our next ride up, we got Flying Gators. All right, Flying Gators. You can spin it fast, or you can just let the momentum take you. It's all up to you. There's several people in here. You really get these things going. All right, Turtle Twist. Just like a tilt the whirl. A little bit more of a high octane ride for the little ones. There are restrooms located in this area as well as locker rentals. All right, in the back of this area, we got a Sulcata tortoise. Looks like we got several in this in habitat here. You guys have been walking all over the place. 
And then on the other side, got this guy here who was just walking around. He's tired, I guess. All right, we got a fennec fox. Oh my god, these guys are so cute. They're giant ears. So adorable. Now this is around back of the new expanded area. Got creature feature and gator shows. All right, so a portion of the trail is actually open. So we're gonna go check out some of the animals that are in this area. First up we come to macaws. Got a couple of them in here. And we got some fallow deer. Got one who's right up by the fence. Other two in the back, having something to eat. So during Terra in the Wild, this is actually part of the queue line for the Camp Hackaway Haunted Maze. All right, koi fish. A lifespan of 50 to 70 years. So they can go under the bridge. Apparently that's where they all are. All right, green monkey. This guy's got all sorts of stuff to climb on. Got nice water. It's like majority of them are congregating along the, the left side of the habitat on the posts. Ooh, oh, they're fighting, oh my gosh. Hopefully just roughhousing. Right, they also got a great crown crane. See two of them, they're in the same habitat as the green monkeys. The monkey right there. Alright, yeah, got a turkey vulture. Alright, turkey vulture. I'm always okay. Nice. Alright, they got the black bear habitat. This is also the entrance to Camp Hackaway. Alright, so the bears are way back in their habitat. Doing bear stuff. We got common snapping turtle. I guess you wouldn't want to have your finger near these guys. All right, doing an alligator snapping turtle. Wow, largest of the freshwater species of turtle. Now, I've seen these in aquariums, like double the size of this guy and even triple the size of him. All right, wild boar. That's so one of the keepers is cleaning their habitat and should be putting food out for them. But they are being very, very uh, chatty in the back. That's actually them. You can see him back there walking around. He said they'll be out in about uh, 15 minutes, so I'm going to come back. Oh, we got a sandhill crane. Looking down on it. Now, the whole habitat does not have a screen, just so you know. This is just right at the edge. What's up, birdie bird? A top down view of them. 
All right, we got an Eclectus parrot. Hi, pretty bird. Oh, I love the beak coloring. The orange and yellows. Hi, birdie. Yeah. So this trail is actually out in swampland, mixed with the trees. Walking the boardwalk, got native plant life and trees, including red cypress. Get African gray parrot. Hi. Trying to get me just Hi. whistling it. Hi. Can you turn around so I can see you? No? Okay. Thank you. Alright, see so I came back and the wild boar are out. Very loud piggies. You can see the piggy food out for them. Then they can go play in the mud. That got their cute little tusks on the side. So these are juvenile wild boars, evidently. I had no idea these guys made such a ruckus. Alright, skunk. Because they are nocturnal, they typically sleep during the daytime. So inside his little hollowed out log, you can see his black and white fur. Alright, so from the trail you get an excellent view of the track layout for Swamp Thing. Suspended roller coaster. Not super fast, but it's still fun. Alright, we got Mr. Twister, the American Alligator. That is a good size alligator. Being from Florida, I see these guys all the time. Got lots of water and dry area. He wants to get out of the water. All right, we got Laughing Kookaburro. Hi, birdie, birdie. Hi, birdie, birdie. Good sized bird. She's chilling out. Now you know where I'm at. That's the trail entrance. Here's Creature Feature Gator shows. And this is the exit. Alright, Coda Monday. Did you have any questions about Hawaii? Um I like the ringtails. <laughs> I know it's not a question, but um I've never seen these guys before at, at any type of zoo or any other place. Where are they native to? Uh, these guys are native to South America. There's a few subspecies and they can range all the way to Mexico. Um, these guys are kind of like a tropical raccoon. They're in the same family as raccoons. Oh, alright. So they fill that same niche. You can find them pretty much everywhere in their native range. And they will eat anything they can get their hands on. Right now they're eating some peanuts, which is one of their favorite trees. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> climbing right up. Climbers. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Wow. So they're trying to get your attention. Wow. So we have seven of these guys in here. And in the wild, they build them in large groups called bands. Uh, and these usually run from uh, seven to 13 in each group. Wow. That is cool. Oh, come on back. They're very good at jumping. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is neat. I'm going to go check out the birdhouse. Oh, I got lots of colorful parakeets. Oh. I love that one. You get one like that. a seed cup for two dollars, and uh, it'll come land on your hand. 
and eat the seeds. You have a bunch on your hand, Mom? A couple of the birds here. And this very vibrantly colored bird. Wow, that is so nice looking. And get all the colors. This rainbow colored bird look like. Wowee. Another well known bird species. A lot of people have as pets. But then we got this nice looking bird right here. Nice, very colorful beak. All right, we got a two-toed sloth. Yep, just hanging around. Well, these guys. All right, following the path, we come to Swamp Thing. Got an excellent view of the track layout from the trail. This is the entrance and queue line. Okay, look a swamp thing in action. Directly in front of Swamp Thing's entrance, you got Smash Attack bumper cars. Good old traditional bumper cars. You actually have a over the shoulder type of uh, lap bar system. Interesting. Alright, so I moved back to the main walkway that I was on. And they have a small splash pad for the kitties to play in. That's a fall food. All right, so from the splash pad, I'm gonna head to the right. Right towards Mama's Pizzeria. That's a Mama's Pizzeria. You can get, of course, pizza or salads. And we're gonna head to the right of Mama's Pizzeria to see these rides we got over here. And they got Sentry Wheel, giant Ferris wheel. Well, not giant, but it's it's nice height. We got Ferris Fury. Look, it's coming, coming in for a landing. Basically, a pirate ship. Although uh, they do model them differently goes back and forth. This does not go uh, full rotation. Our right, next roller coaster is called Go Bananas. Guess because of the yellow coloring. It's a wild mouse roller coaster. See, he's had a bunch of different uh, fairs, carnivals, and uh, smaller theme parks usually. But you get to lots of turns and twists. Some models have free spin at a certain point. This one does not free spin. All right, Adventure Raceway, go-karts. Right, right behind Ferris Fury, they have go-kart track. We 
go kitty carts. They also have a kitty go kart track. And they also have a venture golf, miniature golf course. So a little fun way to work out some energy, especially for the little ones. All right, kite flyer. All right, this ride is called Kite Flyer. We're just saying laying down. Pretend you're flying like a kite or next superhero maybe. Directly next to Kite Flyer, you got Turtle Race. It's another uh, kid size ride. Looks like it's seen better days. Right, directly next to that, they got Safari Petting Zoo. Pet all the goats. Alright, so I'm showing you the map. And right here is the location where we are. We're right here by number five. I'm going to work my way up towards where the River Rapids is and Boomerang. And then we'll work our way around the lake. Right, directly behind the Giant jack o we got Wacky Wheels. This is a kid's spinning ride. Similar to teacups. As far as the spinning goes. See Wacky Wheels. Spins. And directly next to that we got tailspin. There's this tailspin in action. First he's gotta get a good momentum. And then it spins. Dizzy, this might be a pretty extreme ride for you. Ah! Alright, we're coming to Swing and Safari. Alright, so this is the type of ride you would see at fairs and carnivals. Different theming to safari animals. Alright, Swing and Safari. Directly next to that, we got Aviator. There's Aviator. We got Boomerang. So it's a standard boomerang model. Got these at numerous theme parks all around the United States. And right next to boomerang, you got Tasmanian River Rapids. Gonna go check this out. This is never a good sign. Got some nice theming here for the River Rapids. Oh, mining camp. All right, rod vehicles. We go down into the rapids. That's essentially the luck of the draw. Where you are, you don't really get wet just from the rapids itself, but there are certain parts of this where water flows down. 
So it all depends on the rotation of the ride vehicle, whether or not you go directly under it. So it's a fun way to cool off. You get one inversion, or technically two, because you do it uh, the other way as well. Go up there and do the exact thing backwards. All right, directly next to Boomerang, they got Congo wings. Got buffalo wings and chicken tenders. All right, right past Boomerang, you can see their nice lake. lake you can find some swan. They're way on the other side. The one's swimming away from the other. We're so showing you the map again. We're up at the top where it says safari train. We're gonna head to the left towards the cheetah roller coaster. And work our way around the Twisted Typhoon. All right, they got a safari train. It's the best way to see a lot of these animals. Basically, you only see these animals from the train. All right, so I'm in line for the safari train. Just left the station. Hope you'll get on the next run. Got the breeze I'm sitting in front of a nice cool fan. It is so hot. View of the alpaca that we saw. I you Say goodbye to the alpaca. Thank <laughs> you. 
competitors for some time, so we didn't share the news for them. And the wine and grain, so let me see TNF on a certain time. Oh, yeah. Ooh, black swan right there. So they'll go down to the next thing that arrives. But it all came for the place to swallow it. And the swan is in the seat here. Why are the Thompson's in there? Thompson's at one of the small ones of the night. Thompson's Gazelle. That's the sales spot in that one. And they're run up to the paper pile for hours. show you just a snippet of it. So I cross the railroad tracks and check out Giraffe Overlook. All right, Giraffe. All right. Ooh, these guys lettuce. Oh, they love romaine lettuce. Capybara. Large and rodent species. Quite a few of them in here. We got some emu in here also. They even have alpaca. Alright, there is our alpaca. 
Alpaca. All right, Lion. You can see both of them. Got the male lion in the back and the female lion up on the rocks. Try to come back a little bit later, see if I get a better view of them. So off to the side in front of the lions, you got whirling wildcats. All right, just the standard scrambler. Still a fun ride. Brings back memories to when I was a little kid. All right, so from whirling wildcats, in the line enclosure, we're going to follow this path here. All right, cheetah. Most of the track is out of view from the loading platform. Coming back. All right, looking through these posts, you can see a little bit more of the track. And directly in front of Cheetah, you got Safari Jeeps. All right, showing you the part of the map I'm on right now. We can see Cheetah at the top. And the red spot there that says, you are here, well, that's where I'm standing. I'm going to move our way around the Twisted Typhoon. See a couple little odds and ends. We're going to check out Dinosaur Explorer. All right, Geronimo. It's an upcharge. Sky Coaster. Basically, Strapped to a harness, you're pulled up the top of this tower and you let go and you swing back and forth. It's pricing. All right, directly next to Geronimo, you got the most intense roller coaster in the park, Twisted Typhoon. This is also a suspended coaster. Has several loops. The loading platform. All right, got a good vantage point. See this coaster in action. but this is a good coaster. All right, so from Twisted Typhoon, we're gonna follow this path right here through the graveyard. All right, we got a shoot the shoot water ride. Essentially a one trick pony, but on a hot day, very refreshing. And people like to stand on the bridge directly in front.
Yes. You definitely get wet on this. Chance of getting wet, 100%. I spoke to one of the people that work here and he said this is called Blackfoot. More call it Wetfoot, but you know. So directly in front of the exit portion for Blackfoot we got Yo-Yo. Hey Alex, you want to ride that one to the window? This is a swings ride. Appropriate for the kiddies. Doesn't go really, really high. Let's see Yo-Yo in action. You get some good height for it. Alright, now we're gonna go check out Dinosaur Explorer. Alright up. First up we got a pterodon. There he is with them wings. Oh, we got a Kentosaurus. Is that what you are, Kentosaurus? Maybe saying yes. Alright, this guy's got lots of spikes. Wow. You got a Megalosaurus. Oh, this guy is ferocious looking. Wow. That tail. See if we get him to move maybe. There we go. There we go. Now we got to move him. Yeah, look at that. Look at them teeth. It's a good thing this guy has all his body armor, man, with this. Sharp teeth right by him. All right, so Dinosaur Explorer is included with park admission, so no additional ticket required. All right, we got the original King of the Beast. We got Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh man! Oh, his arm's broken. Looks like he was trying to shake hands with someone stronger than him. Broke his arm. That's terrible. Man, oh man! Got some big old teeth though. And we got a Brachiosaurus. Big old long neck. Suitable for eating uh, vegetation. <laughs> or tree stars. If you're familiar with the Land Before Time movies. Alright, prehistoric Bebop. And we got a kitty ride Bebop. Spins around, goes up and down. Okay. Where we got an Ankylosaurus. This guy's got a basically a double hammer in the back. All right. All right. Behind him, we got Dino Dig. Kids coming here and digging the sand. Maybe find a few bones. You see the eggs hatching. A nice photo op for the kids. We also got a Dino Playland. Different tunnels and stuff the kids can go through. Another hatching dino. Alright, got a Stegosaurus. Kind of in the back. I think there's a few of them. Alright, Dilophosaurus. Man, look at them teeth. Got a little sail on top of his head. Right next to him is a Dimetrodon. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the motion sensor to pick up movement. It depends. Sometimes they work really well and other times the animals don't move because you're not hitting the motion sensor properly. Or sometimes the motion sensor is broken. All right, Triceratops. There is a Triceratops. Let's see if we can get this one to move. There we go. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a Packy Silophosaurus. I know I screwed that up. Thick-headed lizard, but that's how you say it. It's a thick-headed lizard. 
but let's call him that, a thick-headed lizard. Hi, thick-headed lizard, how are you? Thick-headed lizard. All right, now we got a Parasaur Alapus. Something like that. All right, here we go. It's nodding, yes. All right, we've got a Kentrosaurus. Here we go. He's wagging his tail and everything. He must be happy. <laughs> All right, I got a Dimetrodon. Well, I tried but couldn't get his motion sensor to activate. This is what he looks like, though. Yeah. Here we got a Stegosaurus. That was, that was really great. <laughs> well, kid was scared of the dinosaur moving. All right. All right. So after walking through Dinosaur Explorer, I realized I went in the wrong way. What I thought was the entrance was actually the exit. I mean, there's no real entrance or exit, but I was going opposite of most of the other people that were coming in. Because right out in front, you got this giant Brachiosaurus. Yes, apparently I didn't walk far enough to see this giant headed guy. All right, meerkats. Got the lookout. Making sure everything is safe for them. You want to get a picture of the meerkat? The little one here. So cute. Alright, this right here is called Sidewinder. Yeah, oh boy. Let's rather tame it first. So showing you on the map again, I am right here. This is where I went into Dinosaur Explorer, but like I said, apparently I went in through the exit right by the Meerkats. So we're going to work our way around here, see these few rides, and then come back around this way. Alright, so directly in front of the Meerkats and the actual entrance of Dinosaur Explorer, we got Lone Star Barbecue. It's cafeteria style, you come up with your trays, let them know what type of food you want, you serve it up on your tray, and you come over to the registers and pay. Lots of seating inside. Alright, right outside the barbecue place, you got the Rattler. Uh, unfortunately, it is currently down. But basically, it's a pendulum. The ride vehicle rotates and you swing back and forth. And right at the entrance of the queue line for the Rattler, got a couple real snakes. Got a red tailed boa. I'm trying to show you. There's a lot of reflection on the glass. Come around, you can see his head. It's a big old snaky head right there. As so we're back near the little lake, we're gonna make a left turn and check out a few of the rides they have back here by the games. All right, Dockside Games, 25 cents a game. You just have a giant, giant pepper or a sloth and snake and other assorted other assorted critters we can win a tiger if we just like throw the ball in a little jug all right we got v-state all right we got v-state laser blast off and state laser blast off this ride might look familiar to you it was actually featured in zombie land There's a drop tower that two girls were stuck on while the zombies were climbing up to get them. 
All right. Laser blast off. This is basically a reverse, a reverse drop tower. This one actually shoots you up. Yeah. See, now it looks familiar to you, huh? Yes, sir. And directly next to that, you got Falcon Flyer. Falcon Flyer. You control the pitch. You adjust the giant sail in the front. Nice view of some of the rise in action. Let's scan around. All right, so Dockside Restaurant is not open right now. I guess it's down for the season. So I came back to where Dockside Games is. Got a couple more games of chance. And we're gonna head up this way. It's a good thing to know first aid and lost parents or lost children. Parents come looking for their lost children or vice versa. They come to this blue building. Right behind a swamp thing roller coaster. <gasps> and they got squirrel monkeys. Here they are down here. Look how cute they are. Hi, Scrum Monkeys. All right, I think the last ride is called Jungle Rumble. All right, Jungle Rumble. Just to the left of that, you got Jungle Icy and Snacks. Choose your flavors. They also got soft drink refills. Right, directly behind Tailspin is the only Coca-Cola freestyle location in this park. So if you'd like to be able to mix your flavor, this is the only place in the park to come to. Right, nothing says fun in a theme park like the corn dog. Right, food that they have here. You can also buy refillable bottles. All right, Safari Burger. All right, menu board. <laughs> Beverages. All right, so following the path, right past Jungle Icy and Snacks, takes me right back towards the, the main walkway and towards the front of the park. So this essentially completes my entire loop around Wild Adventures Theme Park. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I just got over a thousand subscribers and I'm Hoping to keep going up. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you like what you saw. Let me know that you enjoyed what you saw and give me a thumbs up. That also helps me know that you enjoyed what you saw. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.